Well, hello, everyone. I uh, hope that uh, you're doing well, and I hope that everything is okay with you and your loved ones, wherever you are, uh, safe at home, uh, uh, social distancing like we're uh, asked, being asked to do. And uh, Steve had asked me a few weeks ago if I would bring some kind of little devotion to you guys. Um, I don't know what to say. I have no idea what to tell people during this time. I just... I know what, what helps me, and maybe this will help you a little bit, but uh, um, one of the verses that's always meant a lot to me uh, in times of problems and difficulty in my life is Psalms chapter 40, and maybe several of you have probably heard me uh, quote this verse and use this verse in the past. It says uh, in verse number one of chapter 40 of Psalms, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. Um, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is we're going to have to cry out to him. And I hope that you're taking this op this opportunity. I hope that you're taking advantage of this, that we find ourselves in to, to cry out to him, to act, uh, seek his face, sincerely seek his face. Because he says if we will sincerely seek his face, uh, he will turn to us and he will hear our cries and he will help us. Uh, that's what that's the whole gist of what verse number one is talking about. He will help us and he will turn to us and he will hear our cries when we cry out to him. In fact, verse number two goes on to say, he lifts me up out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. And this is something that we, we obviously find ourselves in. And, and I have found myself in this place before in a, in a pit of despair and in mud and mire. Maybe this uh, is a is a pit that we all find ourselves in. We all find ourselves uh, dealing with the problem of this COVID nineteen and this pandemic that we uh, the world has caught itself up into. And Lord, I just I just pray that that uh, we do turn to Him. That we do in fact wait for Him to help us, and that we are in fact crying out to Him because He said He would help us. Verse number three says, "He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me." steadied me as I walked. You know, uh, one of the things that we're going to have to understand and realize is that he wants us to advance. He wants us to keep walking. He wants to set our feet on solid ground, <clears throat> finding ourselves out of the mud and out of the mire and out of this pit of despair, but up on a solid rock and that solid rock being him and being Jesus Christ in our lives and, and allowing him to steady us as we walk along and to continually to hold our hand to to keep us from falling back into that pit. And when we when we cry out to him and he hears our cry and he turns to us, because the next verse goes on to say, he has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. And I don't know about you, but during times like this, uh, songs are something in, in hymns and, and singing and uh, has always been something that uh, uh, means something to my heart and always brings me up out of the things. And the, the songs that we sang when, uh, this past Sunday uh about him being raised from the dead and, and up from the grave he arose and because he lives and our God reigns and and how deep our Father's love is for us. You know, we find ourselves, uh, I find myself singing those songs and I find those those songs and, and even there are new songs. I, I just heard of a, a song the other day, it's only been out a few years now called Hope Has a Name. Uh, there's a new another song out that just recently that, that uh, I've been I've caught myself singing is is Waymaker, and uh, some other beautiful songs and and uh, hymns of praise and songs uh, new songs to sing, and and take the opportunity to to hear from him to listen to him to listen to these songs and what these songs have to say for us because he wants us on that solid ground and he wants us to be continue to walk along he doesn't want us in the pit of despair and in this mud and mire and muck that we find ourselves into. Uh, all the time because he wants to hear our cry. He's listening for us to cry out to him. He's ready to help us. And one of the, the last verse that I want to uh, want you to think about this evening is many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. I don't know how long this is going to last in our lives and how much longer that we're all going to be able to, uh, to stand this or how much longer uh, things are are going to get even get more crazy or not I don't know but for one thing is for sure many will see what he has done and be amazed and they will put their trust in the Lord uh, God is going to come out the victor through all of this and 
if we will continue to put our trust in him, we will continue to allow him to, as we walk along, for him to steady us. If we will continue to let him pick us up out of this mud, and if we will let him pick us out of this pit of despair, and let him and turn to him and let him hear our cry, he will hear us and he will help us. And he's there to help you in all of this and through all of this that you're going through. Um, Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of Pecan Baptist Church to uh, to maybe just ever occasionally uh, when I get out of my <laughs> when I get out of my comfort zone to bring something like this to you. But I hope that maybe this meant a little bit to you and will mean a little bit to you this week. And uh, just know that that uh, I'm praying for you that that Steve is praying for you, Steve Behrens is praying for you, and that there are others that are praying for all of us. And and we will see the end of this, and we will get through it. And uh, God has a reason for putting us through it. And uh, whatever that reason is, I hope that you're learning something through it. Thank you.